Mortgage interest rates are at historically low levels and have been for a long time. Low interest rates are good for borrowers because it means that it costs less for them to borrow. But low interest rates are bad for savers because it means that they earn a lower return on their savings. Similarly, high interest rates are bad for borrowers because it means that they must pay more to borrow money. But high interest rates are good for savers because it means that they earn more interest on their savings. In 1972, mortgage rates were 7% and the average American household's debt was 76% of its income. Mortgage interest rates rose until 1981 and then fell. As mortgage rates rose, people borrowed less. And as mortgage rates fell, people borrowed more. Today, mortgage interest rates are almost half of what they were in the 1970s, allowing households to borrow about twice what they could afford then. Some argue that we need interest rates to be low so as to encourage spending. But low interest rates don't simply encourage people to spend more. They encourage people to spend more now in exchange for spending less in the future. Since borrowed money must be paid back, the additional spending that goes on today will be offset by lesser spending in the future when people pay back their loans. Similarly, high interest rates don't simply encourage people to spend less. They encourage people to spend less now in exchange for spending more in the future. So what is the right interest rate? The answer is the free market interest rate. The free market interest rate is the rate we get when the Federal Reserve does not interfere in financial markets. Individual borrowers and savers know better than the Federal Reserve whether they should give up spending tomorrow in exchange for more spending today, or whether they should give up spending today in exchange for more spending tomorrow. When the Federal Reserve actively manages interest rates, it replaces these people's judgments about what is best for them with the Federal Reserve's judgment as to what is best for them. The lesson is that borrowing and saving are really about deciding whether to consume more now and less later, or more later and less now. And these decisions are best left to individuals.